In this session, we are going to analyze a more complex model. Oil platforms, or offshore drilling platforms, are large structures used to drill and extract natural gas and oil that lie under the seabed. The model is fairly complicated, and there are several different parts that we need to build. Let's take a look at the drawing sheets of the model in detail so that we can develop a plan on how to create this model. First, let's identify the main parts that define the oil platform. The base platform, the floating base, the helipad, and the oil derrick. We will analyze the different parts in detail as we build them. In this video, we will build the platform and the floating base. The base platform is a simple shape. For simplicity, we can start from a rectangular shape and then pull it to create the solid. Then we can plan to add the floating base that sustains the platform. The lower part of the platform is a rectangular prism that can be created with a simple pull operation. The two columns require the use of the blend tool to easily create a shape that transitions from the top to the bottom section. All the corners of the geometry can be rounded using the pull tool. Once one of the floats is created, we can mirror it with respect to the center plane of the platform base to quickly complete the floating base. If we take a look at the floats, we can see that the four columns look like they are all a mirrored representation of each other. We can create half of one of the floats, then the column, and complete the floating base with two simple mirror operations. Now that we have a plan on how to build these two parts, let's open a new design in Discovery and create the model. Before starting, let's make sure that we are using the right units. Go to File, Settings, and select Units and Display Precision. Check that the model unit system is set to metric, and that the length is measured in meters. Also, go to the Display tab and activate the Fade Scene option for convenience if it's not already active in your session. Make sure you are in model mode. Then, check that the sketch grid is set on the XY plane and orient it in a plan view. Start the rectangle tool and sketch the rectangle for the platform. Activate the option Draw from Center and create a sketch that's 80 meters high and 120 meters wide. Return to 3D mode and pull the rectangle up 5 meters. In the model tree, right-click the solid and select Move to New Component. Rename the component as Base Platform. Let's move on to modeling the floating base. Select the bottom face of the platform and create a new sketch. Use the Move Grid tool to offset the sketch plane 41.5 meters in the negative Z direction. Use Plan View to reorient the sketch and press the letter Z on the keyboard to zoom to the model extents. Use the Project to Sketch tool to select the left edge of the platform and project the edge onto your current sketch. Select the Rectangle tool, then click the top end of the projected edge as the start point and sketch a rectangle 22 meters high and 60 meters wide. Delete the projected edge from the sketch. Create a point at the top left corner of the rectangle. We will use it in later steps. Start the pull tool and pull the rectangle profile 12 meters in the positive Z direction towards the platform. Now, double click an edge to select an edge loop on the newly created solid. Hold control and repeat this process for all the edges on the model. A total of 12 edges should be selected. Hold Ctrl and click each of the four edges on the face located closest to the world origin. This will deselect them. Using the Pull tool, apply a 2.5 meter radius to all remaining edges. Select the top face of the rectangular solid that is closest to the base and start a new sketch. Use the Move Grid button to offset the sketch plane by one meter.
Select the rectangle tool, locate the point that was projected earlier, and zoom in to that corner of the solid. Place the cursor over this point and press the Shift key. Then, move the cursor to the right to activate the reference dimensions. Specify the horizontal reference dimension as 15 meters. The vertical dimension should be zero. This will place the start point of the rectangle. Now, create a sketch that's 22 meters high by 22 meters wide. Click the Pull tool and reorient the view to the home view. Select Add from the Pull tool options. Then, select the square and pull down until the profile merges with the lower body. Rotate the model and create another sketch on the bottom face of the platform. Rotate the model so you are looking down at the float. Activate the Project to Sketch tool and select each of the four edges of the square. Orient the sketch in the plan view and press S on the keyboard to activate the selection tool. Use the Offset Curves tool to offset the top and bottom lines by 2.5 meters toward the center of the square. The shape should now be a rectangle measuring 22 meters by 17 meters. Use the Trim Away tool to remove any excess segments. Click and drag a box around the remaining four lines and use the Move tool to shift them 5 meters to the right. Switch to 3D mode and activate the Blend tool. Select the square face on the float and the corresponding face on the underside of the platform while holding the control key. Check that the preview is OK and click the green check mark to accept the result. Start the pull tool and double click one of the edges on the blended portion of the model. This should select two edge segments. Hold control and double click the remaining three edges. Now press the spacebar and enter a value of 2.5 for the radius. The projected point that we used earlier is no longer needed, so select it from the model tree and delete it. Right-click the solid and select Move to New Component. Rename this component as Float. Now start the Mirror tool and select the cut face on the float as the mirroring plane. Then click the float body itself. This generates a mirrored model and completes one of the floats. Next, select the plane tool and click the Y axis on the world origin. This creates a plane. Start the mirror tool again and select the newly created plane. Then, in the model tree, select the float component to mirror it to the other side. The floating base is now complete. In the next part, we will build the helipad.